Let's get the right deck going. There we go. Version 44.3 Revenant. Let's get points into Coin Master. Put that on there. And let's get into lane as quick as possible. Welcome back, mates. I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by Yinko Me Lordy. And today we're playing Paragon Revenant version 44.3 and this guy's a beast in the mid lane and not many people know about that people think it's crap useless irrelevant but we're going to show you the power of revenant in the mid lane it's disgustingly good let's put a point into our hellfire rounds and this build there's a lot of testing that i try to do and i'm gonna get pretty much camped on i know that that's gonna happen these guys will cap me especially with moral gash as her burst damage they're gonna try and cap me by purpose Am I lagging? I feel like I'm lagging. I can't see my pin counter. Looks like it disappeared. The idea is to get as much gold as possible. If we get a massive lead in the first 10 minutes, it's going to help us snowball. Two games I've played already with this build. And I'm enjoying it. There's a little bit of changes I still want to go with this. But I feel like it's heading to a good position. Because in version 44.3, Revenant got some buffs. Scar ability has a stacking mechanic of a slow. And then it does like 10% slow each damage instance after you apply Scar. And also his ultimate, Reckoning, has a 0.5 second root. And that means a lot. 0.5 seconds, it might seem insignificant, but it does so much. Trust me. If I can show you guys the potential of this within the gameplay, it's insane. Also, there might have been a clip of the very start of me trying to get a pentakill. Then it got stolen again. Stop stealing my pentas, mates. I need to get my pentakills. We work hard for those kills and then someone just steals it with ease. It's like, come on. Sad times, sad times. Right now, the idea is just to farm. You farm as much as possible, then you gain a good lead. I could back now and get some cards, but I feel like we're going to hit level 5 soon. Like, very soon, compared to her. And we might have a lead. Especially if she leaves lane like that to get the river buffs. We'll get this farm easy. Hopefully, die. her some farm as well. And it's perfect for us. And there's so many weaknesses to Revenant. Obviously, wave clear trash. So, when you verse a mid laner, you hope to verse a mid laner with bad wave clear. Because that makes it easier to freeze lane. And you usually want to freeze lane around this side, towards your tower, or even in the middle. You never want to freeze the lane towards their tower. Because if you do that, you're going to get ganked on. Because Revenant has no mobility. And if you get ganked on, you're dead. That's just how it is. And many people are confused why Revenant was a mid laner, or considered to be a mid laner. But we've obviously tried him before this. And I think version 42. Yeah, I think it was version 42. We tried Revenant mid lane with like a burst carry deck, and it worked really well. And... Hopefully within this gameplay you can see the potential of it within this update. There's a female here. Please don't be here. Put a point into Reckoning, which is our ultimate. Extra move speed. Attack mid. I think we can do this. Where is she? Oh no! No, I might die. This could be bad. I think Mel is doing some damage towards that guy. Oh, I need to back out. He's going to try aim me now. He's going to aim me. Okay, he couldn't aim me. Yeah, that was all right. That was all right. Decent trading. When none of us died. And that's good. Okay, let's get some of these cards going. Put more points into this. Most likely, we'll get a Nitro Burst after or even Overclock Droid. We'll see what happens. And obviously, some of you guys might have noticed in this build, I've got attack speed going. Even with my gems, I've got attack speed. The idea is to get my reload time down to pretty much a split second. So straight away, after I finish my fourth shot, I get back to being in the action straight away with my base tax. Because I want to be able to apply as many base tax as possible within this build. So I'm able to stack and, and pretty much become like a stacking revenant. That's the idea. We might push this lane. Since Morgesh left. Some nice trading right there. This game is 100% slower from my last game. That's for sure. She's going to win this. She wins this. She wins it. Oh, she doesn't have enough mana. Oh, no way. She's tr trying to recall. No, 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 no. Let me recall. Let me recall. I'm getting my health back. Come on, come on, come on. No time, no time. Yes, we got health back. You're not killing us. There we go. I know what she was doing. That's a smart tactic right there. Lucky we didn't fall for it. Honestly, she could have outplayed us with that. But really, mid lane's pretty slow. We're having trades, that's for sure. We're trading against each other. We're showcasing the potential of each character. Uh, she's doing some work. I'm doing some work in our trades. 
But it's still close. If whoever gets the next kill is gonna dominate the lane. I wanna go for gank soon. I think that'd be a great idea. If we go for gank in the left hand side of the map. I wanna disappear. Hopefully she doesn't realize. We're gonna attack left. Oh my god. If this works, it's gonna be so perfect. I'm picking an attack left. I'm ganking from the deep side of the territory. Should I kill Gadget? I want to kill Gadget. Oh, Narbash got it. No. We can't kill Feng Mao. Oh, unless he does that. I'm coming, boy. I'm coming. Oh, we failed. Nice work, team. Nice work. <laughs> Man, Rampage is still a brick. And also, has anyone realized Zinx does damage? Like, it does insane damage this patch. Look at that trade. I know she came from a solo lane, but wow. Also, the thing that you want to know, the stacking mechanic on Scar and also the root mechanic on Reckoning do not change while upgrading it. So if I do put another point into that ability, I'm not going to gain bonus stacking. So like 20% minus low. I don't get that. It stays at minus 10% and the ultimate stays at 0 0.5 seconds no matter what. That's how it works. This is one of the slowest games I've ever had. There's an action-packed hero-to-hero combat. Where is that? I want more of that. I only got two assists. I need more kills. Put another point into Reckoning, followed by putting our points into Agility. We need to max that tree out as quick as possible so we get some of our more damage cards going. I know, the stacking idea of Revenant, followed by the stacking cards I have, it just feels so much fun. And even stacking gems that I have. Oh, I could have killed him. I could have actually killed him. Should I kill Murdoch? I want to kill Murdoch. Oh, hopefully he doesn't run away. He didn't run away. He's still there. Oh, it's bad for you, man. I feel sorry for you. I'm missing everything. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. He's kill. There we go. Increased gold. Now I need help. Nice. That's a perfect play right there. So we go for a rotation, get a kill, followed up by even that buff. Ooh, nice. And then we got a tower as well. That's some nice gold right there. 3,000 gold. I'm going left hand side of the map. Oh my god, I can do this. I can get some kills and also help my team out. Attack left, attack left. Ultimate soon. So soon. I won't kill Gadget. Nice, nice, nice. Let's keep going. I'm right next to Murdoch. Right next to Murdoch. I'm waiting for him, waiting for him. Nice. Pretty sure Fingmao died. Yeah, he did. Okay, that was nice. Good trade, good trade. Three kills, zero deaths, three assists. Now we're starting to see the power of Revenant slowly come in. Even though my skills right now are kind of annoying because of the mics in my way when I'm trying to look at my screen. But either way, we're showcasing the power. That's all that matters. Power is everything. Because that's your damage I put in this game. You may be able to abuse the enemy laners for every little advantage that you get from your ganking, your snowballing, everything means so much. Look at that damage. 10 seconds, I go for it. In 10 seconds, I go for it. Oh my God, this can be so nice. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Easy peasy. That's what we want. Can't really stop this, but I need to distract him. He's scared now. Look at that damage. He's scared. And I distracted him, so we got fanged with quite easily then. That's what you want. I can't wait to go back to base, man. The amount of cards I'm going to pick up. Two points in here, and then we got a Trapper card as well. Shadow Golem and Trapper. Some of you guys were saying, why Trapper? Why Shadow Golem on this guy? It doesn't make sense. Wouldn't you just build Deathcrawler and it works out better either way? Yes, but for this build, this is the stacking Revenant build pretty much. The idea is to stack as much as possible to slow your enemy, get them stuck in a position or rooted for a long time so your team can kill them or you can kill them. Majority of the time, you're going to end up killing them quite easily. So 1v1s are super easy with the Revenant. And everything's just perfect. I feel like this build has not been done by anyone. And that's what I love about it. I thought of this build straight away when I saw version 44.3 update in the patch notes. I'm like, this has to be something I do on the channel. And it's something that we make become like a big thing in the scene. Because, oh my god, it's so much fun. Still testing me though, still changing, you know how it is. Are you seriously doing that? That disrespect? That's too much disrespect. Now you can get one shot for that. That was your fault. 
She's moving too fast. She's moving too fast. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste. They go easy towers, both on the left-hand side and this side. T2 went down on the left-hand side, meaning no jump pads. And T2 mid lane might go down soon if we can push this wave in. Nice kills on the left-hand side of the map. This could be game very soon. Four kills, zero deaths, three assists. Obviously not a complete pump stomp, but we're controlling the map, and that's what matters. You saw some of our Genki potential, roaming potential, and pretty much snowball potential on this character. We have 30,000 gold, which is pretty decent at 22 minutes, to be honest. There we go, nice. I don't want to do it, but if we have to, I will try to. I need to hit Murdoch. I don't want to hit... It doesn't matter. I'll hit him too. Easy kills. Easy kills. Good work, team. Good work. We've got a power play at the moment. 4v2. Quite easily a win for us right now. We've dominated the game through every stage. Can we get this kill on Murdoch? See you later, mate. Deleted. See, that's how easy it is. That's how it should be. Just dominate. That's all you want to do is dominate. Don't give them a chance to do anything. See? Morgesh just came out of spawn. Instantly dead. I'm having fun with this build. I love this build. Look how quick. Everything just flows so well with this build. 9 kills, 0 deaths, 5 assists. Can't get this kill on... Oh my god, 10 kills. No, it, wasn't, it didn't even count as a kill. <laughs> what? The game ended and we killed that um, Zinx player. It didn't even count as a kill. So it should have been 10 kills, 0 deaths, 5 assists. But it's 9 kills, 0 deaths, 5 assists. But you can see the power of Revenant. I love it. I really do love this character. This is my like pocket pick right now. I have a couple of heroes I've been trying to maintain in my champion pool and become more like a surprise pick so no one knows. Not many people will know how strong Revenant is when I pick it. And with this build especially that I made today, I feel like it's a powerhouse. So you have to try for yourself. But mates, as always, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy this video? Did you hate this video? I want to know your thoughts on this. Because this build took a bit of time to make and I feel like it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good and something you should test for yourself as well. So leave your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us by smashing that blow like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Makes you want to see more Power Gun Gaming content and gaming content in general on my channel. All you have to do is show your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that's all for this video. Oh, time to go, but don't you worry. Back very soon. And yes, boys, we can't see nothing yet. Revenant is the new OP OP in the mid lane. That's for sure, mates. Be terrified. <laughs>